my 46 years and I still haven't gotten no comfort or no closure. It seems like the, the Atlanta mission and murder children have, have been forgotten in this city. Forgotten no more. The Atlanta child murders case goes back under the microscope after more than 40 years. 1979 to 1981, there were 25 children, young black males, that were murdered. And of these, 22 were attributed to Wayne Williams. It did a lot to our psyche because, you know, everyone was a stranger then. Tonight, a plan to shed new light on the city's dark past. Fiverr evidence collection, DNA collection, they were not utilized. This was not the norm. We now know that DNA technology is much more advanced. For countless families, new hope after decades of heartbreak. I want to know who killed Curtis. His case is still sitting on the shelf, getting dusty and rusty, and you can't see the page. And we begin tonight with that big announcement from Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. Police and state investigators will take another look at the decades old child murder cases. Well, more than 20 black children and young men were killed between 1979 and 1981. Suspect Wayne Williams was arrested, but only convicted of the murders of two adults. Today's announcement comes as law enforcement across the country are closing cold cases by comparing DNA samples to a public genealogy database. Look once again at evidence that the city of Atlanta has in its possession, evidence that the GBI has in its possession, to once again take a fresh look at these cases and to determine once and for all if there is additional evidence that may be tested. Well, for more than two years, Atlanta's lived in fears. It was an especially scary time for children. Well, Fox News Carrie Charles is live at City Hall tonight. And Carrie, you met some brothers who remember growing up in fear because of the child murders. Yeah, that's right. Remember, most of those targeted were African-American boys. The Jordan brothers, they are representative of so many now adults who grew up during those scary times. They say they remember being fearful that what happened to those young victims could have also happened to them. They might have been young, but Walter and Wayne Jordan remember police finding 29 bodies, mostly of children, in the late 70s and early 80s in parts of Atlanta. It was rough on all the kids that we went to elementary school with. I met the brothers in what is now called Webster Park. They remember during the three-year period that terrorized the city, families coming together looking out for children in the community. There was no parent that did not have permission not to discipline us. Um, there was no parent that did not have permission to give us guidance. The park just blocks from their childhood home in southwest Atlanta and not far from where some of the victims were last seen. Could not go to our best friend Tony's house if it wasn't discussed the night before between our parents. So now instead of going home, Mr. Ashley, Tony's father, would pick us up from school and we didn't take the cab. On Thursday, city leaders said the police department would re-examine the unsolved cases. I always thought they would. I always thought the city would come back. The Jordan brothers remember Wayne Williams being named a suspect. I don't feel that Wayne William feel that, uh, killed my child, but like I say, it don't matter now. They already been forgiven and coming to justice. He was later tried and convicted in the deaths of two adults, not the child murders. I mean, there's always speculations and what people feel and what people think, but at the end of the day, I would like for the city to pour all their resources into really, really giving us the truth and the real answers that we deserve as, as natives, native Atlantans. Now, there is a younger brother, but he's too young to remember what took place during those times. The older two brothers, they did tell me they even remember going to school at points and the superintendent being out in the morning, driving around the community to bus stops, checking on children, making sure they felt safe. Coming up tonight at 11, hear from those boys, now men, about the plan their mother put in place when she didn't want them riding the school bus to get them to and from safely. Live in downtown Atlanta, Carrie Charles, Fox 5 News. It was a terrifying time. Carrie, thanks. Now, Fox 5 senior IT reporter Dale Russell is one of the few reporters who covered Williams' trial who was still working in media in Atlanta. And Dale, these cases are known as the Atlanta child murders, but suspect Wayne Williams was convicted of killing two adults. So what can you tell us about the other cases? Well, he was tried and convicted for killing two adults, Jimmy Ray Payne and Nathaniel Cater. But what a lot of people don't understand, Sine, is that 
there was evidence introduced in the trial, the judge allowed it, and the prosecutors brought it in, on the deaths of 10 other young black men and children, ranging in age from 11 to 28, but most were in their early teens. And the evidence was fiber evidence, dog hairs. There were eyewitnesses who saw some of the kids with Wayne Williams before they were killed. There was even blood evidence matching a couple of the victims. So even though it was two adults that he was tried for, for those of us who were watching the trial unfold, you got the sense of the Atlanta child murder trial because those 10 other cases, not all of them, but 10 other cases were introduced. Now, you can understand why some family members are frustrated and want close when uh, their particular cases were not adjudicated. But back in 2007, there were DNA tests done, and DA Paul Howard said Wayne Williams did it. He's, uh, what's going to happen differently, do you think? That was his exact quote, uh, uh, Russ, is that Paul Howard said, the mystery is over, Wayne Williams is the Atlanta child killer, because court-ordered test of the dog hair is found on five different victims, five different locations, all were matched, that's, the, that's a layman's terms, matched to a dog similar to Wayne Williams' dog or Wayne Williams' dog, Sheba. That was five different cases, and Paul Howard was convinced and said this should have brought closure to the families in 2007. And you may remember, Russ, a couple of years before that, DeKalb County reopened five of their cases. They're still open. They spent thousands of dollars a year investigating. I looked at their investigation after they were finished, they found nothing. They had one suspect who had been eliminated 25 years earlier. So we've seen cases reopen. We've seen DNA testing done in the last 12 years. So it's going to be interesting to see what's left. I do know, I talked to one of the top prosecutors, the only prosecutor actually still alive uh, today, Joe Drolet, he said there were some unidentified hairs on some of the bodies of the victims. So possibly if they still exist, I mean, this is a 40 year old case, basically, they might be able to test those hairs for DNA, but he's not really sure what exactly could be tested at this point in time. Yeah, We've be. already tested the dog hairs. It'll be interesting to see what evidence is still around. Dale, thank it you will so be. much. Thanks, Dale. Well, the Atlanta child murders investigation will be the first case to be reviewed under the district attorney's new conviction integrity unit. J. Paul Howard made the announcement at the mayor's news conference today. He also explained how the new program will help crime victims and the wrongly accused. We plan to start a conviction integrity unit in the DA's office, uh, which would allow uh, defendants, uh, family members and others interested in a case to make an application to the district attorney's office and ask the district attorney to review a case to determine whether or not the conviction was justified. Now, D.A. Howard clarifies this will not be an appeals process, but rather a request for review. The Conviction Integrity Unit will take a closer look at a particular case and then make a recommendation to the district attorney on how to proceed.